Well, hello again. Here's another good question for the five-minute yes or no treatment. It's a question everybody's beginning to ask. Will Trump go to jail? Well, first of all, just a comment about the word jail. It's usually a place for confining people awaiting trial or for minor offenses. Of course, it doesn't apply here. Like most people, I use the term simply to mean incarceration, including prison. Well, unfortunately for Trump, there's an avalanche of subpoenas, investigations, grand juries addressing a multitude of his alleged crimes. But will he wind up in jail? Some say simply impossible and inconceivable. Others say it's a virtual certainty. Well, let's look at the views. First of all, those who say yes. Well, to begin with, he's a defendant in no fewer than 29 lawsuits. They're not jailable, but they involve potential bankruptcy and a huge distraction, emotional and physical drain, not to mention huge legal bills. It'll diminish his ability to do a good job of defending himself against everything else, against the really serious crimes. <laughs> then there's the question of tax evasion at the company. It's been systematic, it's been prolonged. The chief financial officer Weiselberg has described himself as the eyes and ears of the company from a financial standpoint, and he would know of the crimes committed by Trump. He's been arrested and charged. Tax evasion above a modest level in the US is prison time. So when faced with prison, he'll flip. Uh, that'll be bad for Trump. Also, there's bank and insurance fraud. The lawyers now have access to his tax returns for years after four years of him trying to keep them a secret. At the moment, look, this is just an action against him in New York, but it's likely to become federal. And the Internal Revenue Service, who always vigorously prosecute tax evaders, they, they can't ignore it. And he's vulnerable to many actions, president potential uh, regarding blocking, ele well, blocking elections, fomenting serious insurrection. This really is serious. Article 3 of the Constitution says it's a crime for any elected official not to support the Constitution of the United States, to foment insurrection or rebellion against the same, or give aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. Uh, there's no wiggle room on this. It's a slam dunk. Well, what about those who say, no, no, he won't go to jail? First of all, it's inconceivable to jail an ex-president. None has ever been charged, let alone been convicted and jailed. If they could convict him of a cr jailable crime, they would have done so by now. It's all press nonsense. Uh, he hasn't done anything illegal. It's all Democrat lies and, and the lies from the Democrat press. We won't let it happen. He's our hero, our leader. Uh, we're ready to defend him. Well, whew, that's a bit ominous. Well, what's my take on it? Well, look, Trump is clearly guilty of many crimes with jail time, and some will result in conviction. So, so the question is sentencing. How, how does he continue his Secret Service protection? They won't put him in a federal detention facility and give him a mafia cellmate like they did with Jeffrey Epstein. Either, like uh, Rudolf Hess, the, Nazi, the Nazi war criminal sentenced to life imprisonment, his own prison. Uh, they could easily build one. They may have already done so, actually. Or house arrest at Mari de Lago. Or flight, probably to Dubai. I've, I've looked at that possibility in a, in a video. Ultimately, for a man with his ego, he may simply be unable to face it. I think you know what I mean by that. So how sad this whole thing is. What a stain on the history of the Republic. The sooner it's over, the better. Whew, that's a tough one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do the usual. Give me a like, subscribe, uh, and uh, notify, uh, comment, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.